Hey guys, so I got flagged again for a privacy complaint from an individual regarding your content. If you watch the video, the video was on a pro magic player. His first name, I'm not going to say his last name, is Frank. And Frank is the definition of a hypocrite. He will say that he stands on high ethical grounds, that he is a moralistically complete human being. He cares about women. And then behind their backs, he'll cheat on them, say that he's in love with them, send them the same copy and paste love messages over and over again. I mean, the fact that the guy's copying and pasting the same messages to all of his relationships should tell you what a grease bag he is. Yet, I keep getting flagged because I keep bringing these things to the light. But Wizards of the Coast and its pillars, I mean, why did I bring it? Did he do anything illegal? I can't prove that he did, so I will assume that he did not nothing illegal. But did he do something that's creepy? Did he do something that is ethically bad? Would most people believe, hey, you're dating a female who's one of the most famous, if not the most famous, Magic Gathering female player, and you guys are a power couple, should you be asking teenagers, should you be asking random individuals at GPs and using your, quote, celebrity status, end quote, to tell them how much you love them? I get it, love at first sight, but why would you do that? say these same exact text messages to so many people? So Reddit tried to hide this from you. Frank is obviously trying his best to flag all my videos as we speak. And at the core end of the day, I know Frank flagged my video because there was only one name in the whole video, and it was Frank. It was a video dedicated to Frank and his strategies of luring females in, as the Reddit user said, into bed with his romantic gestures of, you know, how, you know, you waking up is the best part of my day. This dude, he'll get what's coming to him. I'm almost certain of it. Because you can take down my video, Frank, but that doesn't mean that people you must have watched the video or someone you know must have watched the video. You're a famous individual. You are everywhere. It's not hard to find you, Frank. You publicize and you promote and Wizards of the Coast promotes you. My whole point in this whole issue, I don't really care about Frank. My point is that the people and their high horses, the people with their high horses they don't belong on those horses. They are hypocrites. They are ethically bad people. And at the end of the day, we, you will have, we all get what's coming to us. You will too. And the higher that horse is, the harder you're going to hit the ground. Because there's so many of these pillars. I'm a little afraid to expose more of them because now like I realize they're just going to flag me into oblivion. But there's so many of these pillars. Frank was one of them. He is heavily promoted by Wizard of Coast. He's beloved. He's on Newmont Gaming. He's on all of these things. Channel Fireball. All your favorite pillars. All the people saying, hey, I represent the community. I represent you. I'm doing it for the good of the community. They're not doing it for the good of the community. They're doing it for their own personal gain. And they're taking advantage of people. In this case... Frank is taking advantage of women Magic the Gathering players. I don't think there's an argument on this. It's super creepy behavior. Yes, it's not illegal, but it is morally questionable. And to put him on a pedestal, to let him ride his high horse and demean each of us, because he's better than us, right? I think it is ridiculous. And eventually, you will get what's coming.